Today marks an historic day in Macon Bibb County. The runoff elections to select the new government leaders are underway. And 41 NBC's Amanda Castro joins us live from St. Paul AME Church with a look at how voter turnout has been this morning. What's going on, Amanda? Marco, more than 170 people have come out here today to cast their ballots. And earlier this morning, I was over at Mabel White Baptist Church. And while I was there, it was a steady flow of voters coming in to cast their vote in this runoff election. The polls opened at 7 o'clock this morning. Voters across the area can vote on the next mayor of Macon Bibb. And voters living in districts 2, 4, 6, and 8 can also elect their next county commissioner. Now, many of the voters I spoke with this morning say today is history in the making as Macon Bibb chooses the next people who will lead the community into the future. It's a huge vote. It's going to, in my estimation, it's going to um, really tell the tale of, of the city and the county for uh, the next 10, 20 years. I think Macon needs to move forward. There's too many issues in, in our city that need to be addressed, some changes to be made. Now, the voting process itself today has been pretty simple. The people I've spoken with today have told me that it's been a quick in and out process, checking in and then casting their ballots. And we still got some of the steady flow of people actually coming in here today at St. Paul AME Church. Now, the polls are open until 7 o'clock tonight. If you need information on where to find your precinct, you can visit our Decision 2013 page on our website. That's 41NBC.com. For now, reporting live in Macon, Amanda Castro, 41NBC News.